ton of bread. Aloha cousins. That's Italian for cousins, which is perfectly fit for today because we're going to be making pineapple coconut bread from the Polynesian Resort from Ohana, which is uh, everybody's favorite part of, well, maybe not the favorite part. I, I like the dessert, but um, the pineapple coconut bread is not to be missed. And uh, there are plenty of recipes floating around online. So all of a sudden people started asking for this recipe and we were wondering why. Well, come to find out uh, because of COVID this year, and some scheduled renovations of the Polynesian Resort at Disney, Ohana and the and Disney Spirit of Aloha Dinner are not running right now. We went to go see this guy and uh, we went directly to the Polynesian, which is still open. Uh, for a little bit while they're they're getting ready to really do some heavy renovations, which you know the, the hotel's one of the originals, so we know it's going to look good when it's done. Looks good still today. And here, even a hotel is an adventure. At the Polynesian Village, there is a leisurely atmosphere of the South Seas and trade winds. The great ceremonial house dominates the scene in a setting that is lushly tropical. And for each guest, there is a feeling of coming to a tiny island in the South Pacific. We had a, uh, an opportunity to uh, grab a hold of uh, Chef Eugene and have him verify which recipe was correct. And he gave it to us and gave us a couple of uh, uh, hints and, and tips and tricks along the way. Uh, we're going to share with you. So uh, if you have had the Ohana meal or you've gone to uh, Disney, or if you like bread, if you like pineapple coconut bread, comment below. Let us know what you thought of it. So while this may not be 100% uh, what you've gotten at the, the dinner show, because uh, this is gonna be right out of your oven, so it's gonna be better. And uh, let's go ahead and get started on our uh, ingredient list. You're gonna need a dough hook and a mixing bowl. You need a nine by 13 baking pan. If you don't have it, don't worry. You can put them in little mini loaves. You can pretty much do whatever you want. But by using the proper size, we'll have the cooking time a little bit more uh, in tolerance. So like any great recipe, we're gonna start off with water. One and three quarter cups. I'm using spring water. You can use any water you like. Um, I particularly like spring water because it's a little bit more uh, soft than what we get from the faucet. The minerals make it a little bit more tasty. And uh, that's what I prefer. We're also going to need an egg. We're using brown eggs, organic. You can use any egg you like as long as it's a large egg. Two tablespoons of shortening. Usually we don't use shortening, so I had to go out and get this. But uh, that's what the recipe calls for, that's what we're doing. It's four and a half cups of high gluten flour at a bare minimum, bread flour. That 12.7% protein, this is really important. Okay, so bread flour, we're gonna do four cups of this. But you just said four and a half cups. Yes, we're gonna do a half cup of whole wheat flour, 14%. So we're gonna bump the gluten up a little bit. If you use regular, all-purpose flour, this bread might be a little bit soupy. So this, um, will really absorb a lot of the water uh, and also some of the other liquids that come from our other ingredients and, and give you uh, something that has a little bit more strength and tensile. It's gonna raise a lot nicer. Uh, should you use all of this? No, then it becomes whole wheat, pineapple, coconut bread, and, and who wants that, right? So <laughs> it won't be the same. So we're gonna, we're gonna bump up the gluten with this, half a tablespoon of salt, Third cup of sugar, a tablespoon of instant yeast. We're using the Platinum brand from Red Star. Two tablespoons of crushed pineapple. We can't have pineapple coconut bread without pineapple. So we're gonna have to be really careful about how much juice we take um, out of here, because again, we don't want that dough to be too soupy. Of course, a tablespoon of shredded coconut. Use sweetened if you can find it. 
the coconut pineapple bread. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll mix it up with that dough hook and away we go. We just added in one and three quarter cups of the water, room temperature. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in a whole egg, whole thing, except the shell. As you're measuring out your flour, make sure you tamp it down. Otherwise you'll have air gaps inside of your measurement and you won't have enough flour and your dough will be soupy. Not that we can't add more later, but let's go ahead and uh, measure once and, and get this thing done the right way the first time. So fill your cup, tamp it down, fill it back up, tamp it down, level it off. Should be about 175 grams of flour weight per cup. So got a pretty good view there of uh, how much more flour you can get into a measurement. So try to get them as equal as possible. We got a couple, two tablespoons of shortening. And like I said, I'm just gonna not mix this necessarily, but just let it incorporate a little bit. Keep it nice and airy. Okay, a third cup of sugar. Half a tablespoon of salt. tablespoon of yeast, which is basically one whole package. Two tablespoons of crushed pineapple. Again, be careful with how much of the liquid you get in there. And a tablespoon of pineapple. I mean, uh, a tablespoon of coconut. So that's it. Uh, we got it all in the pool. Now we're going to throw our dough hook on and, and mix it up until it just comes together. Watch how easy this is. So that looks good right there. You can see it was not a lot of mixing time. Basically we don't want to overwork this dough. Uh, so we got it so that it, it will all kind of got together in a ball on the dough hook and the sides of the bowl are clean. Looks good. We're going to uh, go ahead and move on to phase two. Phase two, you ask, is letting the dough rise. So I'm going to cover this bowl with saran wrap and let it sit at room temperature for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. We're looking for the dough to double in size. So the inside of your house, is probably different than the inside of mine and everybody else's. So just watch for it to kind of double. That means the yeast is working, everything's combined and it's gonna be great. Again, the, the dough feels fabulous right now. It can only get better from here. We just have to have a little bit of patience. One last quick look before we go ahead and cover this up. Public service announcement, do not eat this dough raw. It needs to be cooked. It smells great, I know. You just want to break a piece off and toss it in the chomper. Don't do it. Raw flour, raw eggs, no good. Patience. Oh, it smells great. Look at that. Doubled in size, as promised. A little sticky that's fine what we're going to do is sprinkle a little flour on the top and then we're going to flour the surface and we're going to roll this to about two inches thick and uh, here we go look at that beautiful flour on our hands flour on the dough
stretch it out a little bit. If you don't have a roller, you could use a wine bottle. Don't worry about those spots. Here's our pan. We're looking pretty good. We want it to be a little bit larger than the pan so that we could fold this over like so. For the pan itself, you can uh, grease, butter. We're gonna use some uh, Pam baking spray. So it has a little bit of flour in it so it'll, we'll make sure that it doesn't stick. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and grease up our nine by 13 cake pan. We have the oven set on warm. Uh, we'll explain that in a moment, but uh, we wanna try to get that oven around 110 degrees so that we can continue proofing this dough. You can use a pizza cutter or a bench scraper to, to separate this dough, but we're going to just go ahead and put this right in there. Look at that. Very nice. Okay. We're basically going to try to cut this into some equal pieces, so right down the middle. Half. 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 And just separate these. Basically, we want to cut these and give them a little bit of space. And if you're doing this, if you're following along, cut it on the on the counter if you can. All right. So now these are going to grow into each other again. And what we're going to do is put these in the oven for a few minutes until they start to rise again, about halfway in the pan. So we're just going to keep our eye on those. Um, we're expecting it to be five to seven minutes, maybe 10. Again, the warm setting around 110 degrees. We're gonna, um, you know, kind of hot box proof them with our oven, and then we'll be ready to cook at uh, 375. All right, guys, so uh, the dough has properly uh, proofed in our makeshift hot box, AKA the oven on a really super low setting. So we're going to uh, grab it out of there and um, put a little water on top, sprinkle some uh, extra coconut, and crank this oven up to 325 and get ready to cook this bread. Okay, look at that. Nice. Now you can use just the white of an egg, but I think the water is just fine. If you don't have one of these, you could use your finger Use a spritzer, get the flour and the dough ready to some coconut on top. I think is a nice touch. Not a lot, just a, just a little bit. Just a little added coconut flavor. We actually thought about putting a little bit of coconut extract in here also, but we want to try to keep it as close to the original recipe as possible. All right, in it goes, 325, 20 minutes. See you in 20 minutes. Time, let's grab this thing out of the oven. You can only smell this, it's just so intoxicating. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, so all we have to do now is uh, cool these off and then we could eat them. Looks good. All right, cousins, look at what we did. 
Ohana bread. Pineapple coconut bread. Now you might think to yourself, well, that looks a little bit taller than what we get at the restaurant. Yes, this dough came together perfectly. You can just smell the coconut. That toasted coconut on top. Little bits of pineapple in there that we can see. Oh yeah. If they served this, it would be more popular than it is now. So, uh, you know, we'll tackle some of the other items next. But uh, overall, complete success. First time ever doing this bread. I just got the recipe from Chef Eugene. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. We're going to do a lot more um, on Disney foods and, and drinks. But like and share. Subscribe to the video. You guys should know how to do it. And uh, until next time, see you again. Hello, everybody.